I'm Dr. Franklin. I'll be your marriage counselor for the next three weeks. Uh, James and Lisa Franklin, I presume. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine, too. That's great. Okay. Are there any questions before we get started with today's session? Why are we holding these stuffed animals? The stuffed animal you hold in your hand is not a stuffed animal. It's your spouse. Now, what you're going to do is an exercise that I like all of my couples to do on the first session. And that is, you're going to take the stuffed animal and you're going to talk to the stuffed animal and imagine that the stuffed animal is your spouse. And I want you just to express all of your feelings that you've been bottling inside of you for the last couple of weeks or months or years or however long you've been married and however long everything's been going on. I just want you to just let everything out. Anything you want to say to your spouse, say it to the stuffed animal. And we're going to start with you, James. So, so this is her? Mm -hmm. Just talk, talk to the stuffed animal. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I can do that. I can do that. See what we do. Uh, hi, Lisa. I'm home from work. Did you cook any food today? What's for dinner? What? He didn't cook any food today. He didn't cook any dinner. Well, why not? Well, I mean, I didn't have a chance to cook because I was out working so we could pay the mortgage. I do so have a real job, okay? I have a real job. I have a great job, all right? And I didn't ever see uh, uh, you going out and, and working the way I do, telemarketing is great, okay? Telemarketing puts food on the table. And I don't understand why you always have to attack me all the time. Why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. Why are you yelling? No, I'm not yelling. You're, you're yelling all the time. You always try to overtalk me. You're talking while I'm talking right now. You're talking while I'm talking right now. Why can't we just ever come home and have a family meal? I don't even understand this. You never respect me. You never respect me. All you ever do is disrespect me. You know what? I'm sick and tired of you disrespecting me. You always disrespect me. And I'm sick and tired of it. This time you don't listen because I am the man of the house and you're not. And I'm tired of it. When I come home, you need to make me some dinner and leave me alone. I'm not done. You need to. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> Lisa, it's your turn.
Gen Genius Incorporated. Generation Genius, so listeners act right. Generation Genius! I don't know, it's a Generation Genius thing. <laughs>